Hello, so we are back and this time we have a job which is coming from a local repair shop. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, let me find a charger. Let's plug a charger. This is the Acer from yesterday. So this is the HP, the blue HP, right? That's the one? Yeah, it's the blue HP. So he's saying not turning on or charging. That's what he's saying. Well, one second. Yeah. So we have the charging port. I didn't test it, so I don't know. And we have the light. Check there. You can see the light. Oh. So we have the light. Eighty milliamps. Huh? I mean, how many folds do you see on this channel acting like this? And it's going to zero. Huh. So it's not a, it's taking a, it's not taking any power. Everything is right. We're pressing the power button. So what is happening? The EC chip is reading the power button. The EC chip. You press the power button. The EC chip is starting some sequence. But the power supplies, they are not coming on. This is an i3. i3 has the ME region where if you have some issues, um, it will not start the power, the power supplies. So uh, not sure if this laptop was open because this is coming from a local repair shop. But you know what? If this laptop hasn't been open before, then this can be a BIOS problem. <laughs> now, you know, this is a big board, so the only place to put the SSD is like bent, like angle, like that. You have so much space here. This is unexpected when you think this laptop is engineered by a team of, you know, developers, then they have to to get some approval from, you know, to build this thingy. Okay, so how we can reset the BIOS? Very simple. All you have to do is to unplug the battery. I'm curious to see if that it will solve our problem. I'm pretty sure this it will solve our problem. So we unplug the battery. We don't have a BIOS battery, right? No, we don't have. So plugging back the battery, and now we can test if the laptop is working. Now let's plug the charger, which is here. You know what is interesting? The laptop is not charging, but it can be like the battery is fully charged. So pressing the power button, the current is going up. Seventy milliamps. Now you know this is a sign the bias is messed up. I mean, the first the, the battery is not charging. Yeah, and in order to have a charging battery, you have to have this uh, startup chip or EC chip working fine. Yeah, with the software. I mean, with the bias. If the bias is not right, uh, it is possible the laptop it will not charge. The main power rail, let's check. The main power rail is pressed at 19.5. So uh, this is the BIOS chip, you can see it there. Yeah, that's the BIOS chip. I mean, it's nothing what we can do here. I mean, nothing, nothing. It just try to get another BIOS and write another BIOS into this laptop. Okay, that's fine, Windows 10, 64 bits. And we need a BIOS, right? Yeah, all drivers, BIOS, Intel processors. Yeah, let's get this one. Uh, we can format, but we don't have to. Next, copying files. Yeah, so let's wait. Now, 
just by pressing the power it will work probably not no it's switching off now keep in press the windows key no keep in press the v key no keep in press the b key Keeping press the V and B key. You know what's interesting? The current goes up. Uh, let's try V and Windows. And when the current is going up, yeah, so compare from when we start. Now it's like 100 milliamps. When the current is going up, something is getting hot. So I believe I'll stop uh, trying with the BIOS and I'll try to. See with the thermal camera what is getting hot. The current can change only when a component is getting hot. Check there, check there. Do you think that that's normal? What actually is there? There is some resistors. You see exactly what I told you about current change. Yeah, so have in mind. I unplug the SSD. Wait, I, I can see something. One second. I can see something there. Let's check under the microscope. Wow, what is that? I mean, you know, the laptop is all clean, but not here. Here it's a drop of water. You can see it? So the laptop is perfectly clean, but not here. Check here, it's a drop of water. Still, I don't understand the connection, the capacitors actually getting hot because uh, uh, we check the main power rail and it's present. A little bit of flux. Okay, so those capacitor, at least one of uh, those capacitor is rusty. Perfect. So we solder the capacitor. Let's cool down the board. Okay, so we cool down the board. Let's plug the charger. Uh, we don't need a battery, right? Let's press the power button. So pressing the power button and check that on the current. Check on the current, 500 milliamps. Six hundred. Just wait because we reset the bias, right? Every time, yeah, and it's working. Every time you unplug the battery, it will uh, the bias it will get reset. Yeah, and we have the message, the hard drive is not present. I can't believe it's like, you know, like a drop of water. Still, this fold doesn't make sense. I mean, if they are output capacitors, it is making sense. But if they are input capacitor, it's not making sense. So let me plug the battery back. Let me plug the charger. So let me check one more time. Let's, let me check uh, what capacitor I replaced. Yeah, you see, on this case, you can see, this is not a input capacitor. So this capacitor is not on the 19 volts. This capacitor is on the output of a power supply. Not sure what power supply, but let me power on the laptop. Now let's check the voltage there. So the laptop is on and the voltage on that capacitor is 1.8 volts, you can see. Uh, so this capacitor is not at, at the input, like usual. The output capacitor, they are not getting burned because it's low voltage. But here we have like a drop of water or liquid. Okay, so all working fine. Okay, I'm happy I helped this customer. I'm gonna stop now. I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.